after taking a weekend break post hospital admission definitely needed a break to allow my body to rest and relax so in case y'all were unaware um, I just wanted to give y'all an update on my current situation I'm getting lots of questions on my Instagram accounts and YouTube channel just asking what the heck is going on because there's so many factors going on in my life right now so this vlog may seem a little bit boring. I'm not going anywhere today or doing anything except resting. So I'm really just going to be talking to y'all and giving you an update on my crazy life right now. So let's get started. So my life got chaotic on December 27th when I had allergy skin prick testing. I'm seeing an immunologist and I have been seeing her for about a month, two months now because we're looking into why I get so many recurrent infections and why I'm having so many weird allergic reactions but, but prior to December 27th I've never had anaphylaxis. I've come close so I have EpiPens if needed as a just-in-case measure but I've never had anaphylaxis before. Well after 32 pricks on my back and 16 shots on my arm that showed I'm severely allergic to everything environmental except for um, animals or well, cats mildly but that's it. We went home uh, a few hours later, I had my first anaphylactic reaction, throat swelled, blood pressure dropped, I went unconscious, Judd stabbed me with the EpiPen, went to the hospital, and <clears throat> from December 27th to January 4th I was admitted because the reactions kept occurring back to back, they couldn't get a handle on them. Finally, it seemed like whatever allergen had really started causing this, whatever it was, we don't know if it was the allergy testing itself, though it's most likely, like if it was a specific allergen or a combination of all of it. We don't know. So anyway, the allergen finally seemed to leave my system. I stabilized and got discharged after nine days in the hospital. I was out of the hospital for eight days and in between I was still having some minor reactions that we were able to control at home with my nebulizer and oral Benadryl. But then on January 12th I had a, another anaphylactic episode at home. I had to stab myself for the first time myself with the EpiPen. Judd usually does it or somebody else. Taken to the hospital via ambulance. They stabilized me, discharged me, but then later that night I had an even more severe anaphylactic episode at home. EpiPen Hospital admitted me there for another eight days trying to get a handle on these severe allergic reactions and anaphylactic episodes. Finally I was discharged on the 19th, so nine days in the hospital, eight days out, eight more days in the hospital. Now I've been out since Thursday. Unfortunately on Saturday I ended up back in the ER with anaphylactic shock. However, they were able to stabilize me and send me home. I didn't have to be admitted, although the nurses recognized me in the ER and had already said they were going to admit me, but thank God I was stabilized and sent home because being in the hospital is stressful. So that's what's happening. I see my immunologist tomorrow. We're trying to get a handle on what this could be. It could be chronic urticaria, which is a fancy word for hives, idiopathic anaphylaxis, might be autoimmune, could be mast cell activation disorder, which we're leaning towards. Um, I also have issues with my immunoglobulin levels A and M are low, and my level G is very borderline, so that doesn't necessarily help. Um, while I was in the hospital, my personal immunologist doesn't have privileges at my local hospital, so they had an another immunologist, allergist, come and consult, and he was really nice, so I might go see him as well for additional opinions because he seemed to really know uh, have a good idea of what was going on. So anyways, I see my personal immunologist tomorrow. We're going to talk about possible diagnoses, where to go in the way of treatment. Right now for treatment, I'm on prednisone, which gives terrible side effects. I'm sure those of y'all who have to deal with prednisone understand the love-hate relationship. Oh my gosh, I can breathe, but oh my gosh, why is it doing this to my body? So anyways, I'm on an H1 and H2 blocker, which is Pepsid and Loratadine. I'm on my nebulizer treatments twice a day, and then I take um, liquid Benadryl at the start of a reaction. My nurses and lots of my followers said this will get into my system faster than the pills, which it does, but sometimes it doesn't work, and I end up having to go back to the ER. But this is our first line of defense, and uh, then I use my nebulizer too. So that's where I am medically with my allergies right now, uh, just trying to, <laughs> to figure it out. Something else a lot of people are asking me about is school. Yeah, I am seriously considering medically withdrawing from this semester because I've already missed a few days of classes. However, I am on top of all of my work, not behind, and my grades are good. So that's why I haven't withdrawn yet. My professors are working really hard with me. I have two completely online classes, so that's fine, but I have two in-person classes. And 
those two classes are critical for my major. I can't take them in the summer because they're only offered in spring and fall. So I would be really far behind, like going half a year behind, if I do that. And I've already had to take time off for health. And so it's just a big decision. I know maybe I'll feel better if I, um, a lot of you have said that you personally had to medically withdraw from school and it was a huge help. It's just, it feels like I'm admitting defeat, but I know I have to do what's best for my body. I haven't made a decision just yet. I need to see, you know, where the treatment is going to take me when I talk to my doctor on Tuesday. I just need to see, I, I want to give it a little more time. Plus I'm not failing miserably with my grades or anything just yet. So I'm just going to hold out a little bit longer and I will definitely make the decision that is best for me and my body. I just want to make sure I don't make a decision that I'm going to regret. So I'm just going to give myself a little bit more time to think about it. Insurance. Okay, this has been a big issue since the beginning of the year. There was a system error in the marketplace that wrongfully canceled my plan, and I wasn't made aware of it. So I have not had coverage all of January. Now, I'm set to have coverage February 1st, like normal, but I have so many medical expenses and bills from January, I still need January covered, and I can't get my EpiPens until it's covered. We were having major issues with that, and then CVS came out with these new Adrenoclicks, which are 10 bucks. Great. Judd got me some. We had our EpiPens. We had three refills. We thought we were good. Now we're told we can only have a refill once a month. Okay, never mind the fact that I'm having frequent anaphylaxis, like, once or twice a week. So I'm down to one EpiPen right now, and the Adrenoclicks don't even work that well, unfortunately. When I put it into my leg... The needle went in crooked and the epinephrine didn't have an immediate effect like it's supposed to. So that was very scary. I mean, it worked eventually, but it's not as good as the brand name EpiPens, which are much more expensive. And I don't have coverage right now because the marketplace and my insurance company are still communicating, trying to reinstate me. And yes, they've put an urgent medical note on it because of my life-threatening medical conditions. <sighs> but it's just a mess right now. So anyways, um... I'm still able to see my doctor tomorrow because I've explained the situation and she knows it's really important for me to see her with all that's going on. Uh, but I just got to hold out until February and hopefully they can sort this all out because the insurance thing is a mess and the EpiPen thing is also a mess. So I'm sure if I had insurance, I could get EpiPens whenever I needed, but I don't right now. So just trying to fix that and uh, play <laughs> As safe as I can, which is why I'm staying inside today, so. Alrighty. Okay, I have good news. Um, I just called CVS and I can get EpiPens. I don't have coverage, but since they are new and generic and not so expensive, it'll cost $110. No, their EpiPens don't work so great, but it's better than having nothing. Right now I only have one, so when Jed comes home today, we will go pick up two more EpiPens. So that is great. Judd's home and he's gonna give Hippo a bath because she smells yeah. really bad. <laughs> this weekend Judd had drill. He left Thursday night when I got discharged from the hospital and he got back Sunday night. His family and my family came into town to stay with me so I wasn't alone. But it's super nice to have him home. <laughs> For a dog who loves the water, she really looks like she hates her bath. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Oh. <laughs> She's crazy. Well, that's it for my vlog upload today. Thanks for tuning in and bearing with me while I took my quick break. Judd is home, Harlow's hyper, and we're just gonna continue relaxing and taking it easy. Probably pick up my EpiPens later tonight at the drive-thru pharmacy. <laughs> Judd's getting sick, so hopefully I don't get sick. That would be terrible. And Harlow's over there going crazy. Yep. Yep. <laughs> And that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in.